Hello, today I am going to teach you to set up a Kanban board, sometimes called a task board, so that you and your team can use it for day-to-day -day task management. A Kanban board is pretty common when we're talking about project management, but it is not limited to project management. So again, if you and your team have recurring meetings and action items and tasks are being assigned to individual, this is a great way for you to manage that. As you know, I'm a big fan of Smartsheet, so we are going to set the Kanban board up in something called Card View in Smartsheet. If you don't know who I am, I'm Candace Porter. Please subscribe to this channel. And if you want to learn more about me and my background, on my YouTube homepage, there's an intro video. Okay, let's get started. Okay, here we are in Smartsheet. And you'll see that I am in a workspace. So whatever workspace you would like to build out your team Kanban board, you're going to want to give everyone else on your team access to this so that they can go in and update their task as well. So the first thing that I'm going to do here is to create something called cards. You're going to see the other options here, grid, task list, project, browse templates. I'm going to click on cards. I want to name this Team Awesome Kanban Board. Okay, so here we are. I'm going to double click on Team Awesome Kanban Board. And you're going to see that it opens up kind of this off the shelf version of it, something called backlog. When we're talking about project management, this is where the list of all of the requirements for the project goes. So we're going to rename this to our to-do list. If I just double click on backlog, I can rename it to do. I really do like planning in progress and complete as the other columns. You can also add additional lanes. So if you want to add more, feel free to do so. In order to get started with creating a card or adding task, you're going to want to click on the little plus sign. It pops up add card. So let me show you what happens. When I click on it, it opens it up to where I can name it, but I'm gonna click on this little pencil on the far right hand side where it says edit. This is going to open it up so I can fill in all of the different fields. So we've got the title, that'll be the name of the task, the description, the status, the status here aligns with the different lanes or columns that you have built. We've got done. We've got something called size. Again, size is used a lot in project management when we're talking about agile projects. And it basically gives the people on the team a general idea of is this a small piece of work or is this a really big piece of work? So we're going to keep this in there because I think it can be beneficial. We've also got priority option, high, medium, and low. And then down at the bottom, we have assigned to. Within this form, you can also add attachments. And a really nice thing, you can have a team chat right here. So if you wanted to ask someone a question that related to this particular task, you can ask them in here and the history remains. I, however, want to add some additional fields. I want to know when a task was assigned to someone, so what was the date, and when a task is due, so assigned date and due date. So I wanna customize this. I'm gonna show you how to do that. First, I'm gonna close out of here, and I am going to look for the card view settings in the upper right-hand corner. It's that little wheel there. So I'm going to click on that, and you're gonna see that you can customize it. So card view settings, there's a maximum of nine fields that can be displayed and you can click on and add or remove. So if the blue arrow is along the left-hand side, it means it's added to your card. If it's not on the left-hand side, it's not added. So what I wanna do now is add a couple of fields that I mentioned. The first one being assigned date. Since I do want this to be a date and a date only, 
I'm going to select date in the column type, and I'm going to restrict to dates only. I'm going to click OK here. And then I'm going to add one more that is going to be the due date. That's going to give everyone on the team a pretty good idea of when this is meant to be due. So again, date, restrict to dates only, and click OK. Those are the only changes that I really want to make here. So I'm now going to click OK. And it should have automatically updated. So let me go and click on the plus sign and then again the pencil because I want the entire card to open up. And here we go. Let's set one of these up from scratch. So let's say our company is growing and our team is growing. And so we need to do some hiring. I want to assign someone on the team to write a job description. So I'm going to add that as the title. For the description, we're looking to hire, say, a financial analyst. So write job description for financial analyst and send to HR or human resources. We haven't started on this yet. So again, I wanna keep it in the to-do swim lane or column. It's not completed, so I'm not going to select done. Size. Usually it's good to talk to the team about how they want to use this actual label. Um, sometimes there's a benchmark. So let's say there's a task that everyone can agree on is a small task or a medium task or a large task. You can use that to guide you with determining all the other tasks in comparison to that one. Is it extra small, small, medium, large, or extra large? This isn't an extra small task because it's gonna take a little bit of effort. So I'm going to select small. Priority, we really need to get someone on our team. We're gonna mark this as a high priority. Again, this priority section, I would make sure that you're having the conversations with the team members and ensuring that you're all using this consistently. Assign to, I'm gonna assign it to myself. So there we go. Assigned date, I'm going to select today, March 17th. And then due date, I'm going to say that this needs to be accomplished by Monday. So March 22nd. Now, I may wanna add an attachment here that is an example of another job description. So here's a job description for someone else on the team, and maybe I can use that and tailor it towards a financial analyst. So that is how I would use this add attachment. Now I'm going to go ahead and click OK on this, and you're going to see that it shows up as a new card here. And also a pop-up occurs because you assigned a row in this sheet. You can now notify team members when a row gets assigned to them. So as we add certain tasks or action items here, we can notify people. So let me enable that. I wanna make sure that a workflow has been created. So when this gets added, an automatic notification gets sent out to the team members. This is what the card looks like once it's added. So we've got the name of it. So the title, right job description, a little bit of the description, it's a small task because I put it was high priority. You're gonna see this red kind of exclamation mark. It has my picture and my name for who it's assigned to, the assigned date and the due date. Now, the beautiful thing about having a Kanban board or a task board is that you can drag these cards to the different sections. So let's put it over here in planning or let's put it in in progress because that one really doesn't need planning. I know exactly what I need to do and I can dive right in and start doing the work. So now I've got it over here in the in progress column. So let me open this back up and you're gonna see that it also changed the status here. So as I drag these cards or tasks around, it's automatically gonna update the status, which is brilliant. So at any time, my team members can go in here 
and see the list of tasks or action items in the to-do column. If I assign one to them, it's going to notify them and that's gonna go out via email. And once they get started with it, whether there needs to be a little bit of planning with it, or if they can go right into doing the work, the in progress, I'm going to be able to go in and see where they have dragged that card to. And at any given time, I'll know exactly what's in the to-do column, what's in the planning phase, what's in progress, and what is complete. This is a wonderful thing to include in your team meetings. So as action items or tasks get assigned to people, just go ahead and assign it right then and there. Also, if you see that there's a lot of work piling up in the to-do column for one particular team member, you may wanna check in with them. Kind of, is there something going on? Do they need some help with some of the tasks? It really does give you a nice visual of who's working on what. It also can be a really nice visual. If you see something's due, you know, the 22nd and it's not even started and it's an extra large task, then you're probably going to need to check in with that person or see if they need additional team members to help out. So this is how you create something called a Kanban board or a task board here in Smartsheet. Again, you can tailor it in any way that works for you and your team. You can add additional lanes. You can make sure that you customize those maximum of nine fields that show up in the cards. And you can add more workflow automation to this, or you can remove it if you don't appreciate that feature. One thing that I will remind you of is to make sure that you are saving your work as you add it. And I have a conversation with the team. How often is this going to be updated? You know, is it once a day? Are you guys going to have any tag up meetings to discuss specifically this? Or will it be added to the agenda for your team meetings? The more you agree on how this is intended to work and make sure that everyone is bought into it, the better it will look and feel as far as making sure you're making progress. Thank you so much for joining me today. Again, I'm Candace Porter. I would love it if you have the opportunity to subscribe to this YouTube channel and feel free to check out some of the other videos. A large focus of the channel is on project management. However, we also include some videos that help you become more efficient and effective at work. So just because you're not managing a project doesn't mean that you won't find this channel valuable. Have a great day. Thank you.